Oh, hi, YouTube. So tonight I thought maybe I would look at the chart of a guy that's popping up on my Twitter timeline quite a lot lately, and uh, that's Milo Yiannopoulos. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right or not. Milo or Milo? Um, and I don't know much about this guy. I just know some cursory bits. Just I've seen a few lectures. I've seen all the controversy and hoopla around his recent uh, recent events and um, but I, I don't know a great deal about him personally, but uh, but he seems like an interesting guy. Um, so I thought I would glance at his chart, and, it, and the, the, the only chart I could find said October 18th, 1983, which makes him a Libra, and it makes him a Life Path 4, and uh, under the Chinese uh, symbol of the pig as well. Uh, now, if there's anything I've noticed, that there's no two Birth Path 4s that are exactly alike. They're always a little unusual in some way. Uh, th this guy is, I, uh, I think he's Greek-born, I reckon that he's half-Jewish, he's flamboyantly gay, and yet he's a, a fairly staunch conservative politically, uh, from what I gather anyway. Uh, now, Trump is also a birth path for, so how's that for contrast already? I mean, those two guys probably couldn't be any less alike. Now, some basics, the only things I could find, uh, the Sun and Mercury were in Libra, uh, Libras are, people with this usually are pretty quick-witted and funny and charming, uh, and maybe a little shallow and surface sometimes. Uh, I have those two planets in Libra, so I can relate to this a little bit. Uh, now the sun in Libra is a little weaker than Mercury is. Mercury exudes a, maybe a bit stronger of a pull on it. And uh, so I, I recommend that, the, I, th I think that the, the charm of Libra is maybe quite evident in his speaking uh, more than anything. Uh, the Now pair that up with the moon in Pisces. Now this is already, this is probably the strangest moon, the most mysterious moon of the bunch is probably the Pisces moon. So again, the same thing, like anything with Pisces, there, it's never, you never find two uh, that are exactly alike. Now I've got two boys that are a Pisces in their sun, and same thing, the word unusual definitely fits. Now, I'm unsure of ascendance or uh, houses, so I've got no time of birth, but we can look at some aspects and some planetary forces. Now, the thing that caught my eye is the Venus and Mars conjunction uh, in Virgo. So right away, you've got uh, a polarization of energies in Virgo, which is an already polarized sign ruled by Mercury which is an already polarizing planet. The whole idea of Mercury is the, the Thoth and Hermes and the, the alchemist and the reconciling of the opposites. So Virgo is opposite Pisces on the wheel, which is that, that mysterious sign as well. So we have all that polarizing Venus, Mars, female, male, opposite energy opposing an already mysterious Pisces moon. So people who have really strong oppositions like that uh, tend to have a, a really polarizing effect on an audience as well. So the people who love him really do uh, love him and hang on his every word and uh, post his memes on their timeline and show their support. And then the people who re don't like him uh, riot in the streets and turn over cop cars and set things on fire. So, I mean, that's definitely a polarizing effect over things. Now, all that Venus and Mars stuff that was in Mercury... Uh, it is squaring Jupiter and Venus that are conjunct together in Sag. Now, Sag is the outspoken maverick to begin with. And Jupiter in Sag, Jupiter's at home creating abundance in Sag. Now, remember that Sag also rules higher learning and da, 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 universities. So now it's starting to make sense. So now Uranus has that radical Aquarian lightning bolt energy added to it to stir the pot up. So there it is right there. You've got the hermaphroditic Venus-Mars conjunction in Virgo squaring this radical uh, university event energy <laughs> It, it, it does sort of make sense. Now, it seems odd to me, though, that the most controversial, radical speech these days seems to involve constitutional free speech First Amendment rights, which should be very conservative. 
this whole thing is getting really confusing. So it's now radical and crazy and extreme and wild and wacky to be conservative because everything has swung so far to the left under eight years of Obama and all of this political correctness and all of this uh, SJW um, stuff, for lack of a better word. Um, that's the way it seems to be working out now is that everyone is... Is now everyone who who uh, is a conservative? Conservatives used to be the suit and tie people who just you know wanted to protect their property and investments and you know have their gun and stuff like that. And it's like no, it's changed a lot. I'm noticing it changing a lot. So now it's uh, it seems to make a lot more sense. Um, but I don't know if it makes sense. <laughs> that it's radical, but it makes sense. The ideologies are seeming, uh, they're, they seem a lot more precious now. They seem a lot more uh, like something you definitely need to protect very closely now because I, I can definitely see the fear in having them yanked away. It seems to be swinging that way, at least in popular culture anyway. I don't live in America. I live in Canada, so we've got our own our own kettle of fish to deal with here, and I'll maybe do some videos on some of some of our events if anybody's heard of any of them. Um, so I don't know a lot about him. This is all very surface stuff. So if somebody has a time of birth, maybe leave it in the comments. It seems like it might be worth the effort to have the Ascendant in the houses and get maybe a more accurate read on some of this. Well, I guess that's it for now.